Hello YouTube and in this video we're going to be looking at bilge pumps. The lowest part of a boat under the floor, a boat like this, is called the bilge. Any water that collects in the bilge needs to be removed and to do this we use bilge pumps. Now when I got this boat um, the bilge pumps were either non-existent or broken. Um, so basically I'm starting from scratch. Now there are two distinct parts of the bilge in this boat uh, and this bulkhead separates uh, the two parts. This is the forward part of the bilge. Um, the boat is, is pointing that way. And this is aft of the bulkhead which is the machinery space. With the engine removed we can see the sump area. This is separated from the other bilge spaces and keeps any oil and fuel contained so you're not at risk of pumping any nasties over the side. This is this plate is where the engine uh, drive shaft bro uh, actually bolts onto the prop. So the prop shaft is here. And this is where it passes out of the boat. Uh, and obviously there's always a possibility of leaking around here and some should be expected with certain types of stern gland. So there will be leaks into this part of the boat. There's some standing water in this uh, in this one here. Um, if you see, it almost doesn't. It almost looks like plastic, um, but it's actually it's actually water. Um, it's just rainwater that's come in over a period. So not overly worried about it, but we've got to get rid of it. And here is the device which we're going to be able to get rid of it with. And the device in question is from the Whale Super Sub range. This is a very low profile narrow electric bilge pump. Comes in a few flavours and mine is the Super Sub Smart 1100 12 volt DC with non-return valve. The Smart refers to the automatic switch, meaning the pump will sense the presence of water and then switch on and will turn off again when the water levels dropped. The switching solid state and there are no moving parts and it's also got a time delay so it doesn't start and stop every time the boat rolls a wave of bilge water over the switch. And um, as you can see that is the uh, bilge pump and it's all ready and plumbed, plumbed in electrically so we've just got to find a pipe for it and uh, stick it on an outlet hose and then drop it in there and hopefully we'll get rid of the water tonight. There is a bilge, oh there is a, there is a um, a hose that's already connected from the for the bilge and I believe this is it so connecting that onto pushing that onto there should be fine um, it's only a temporary thing this will just to get rid of the water um, and I'm going to be able to clip there I think we should probably put that on there mm -hmm. now it's got a, a pump a pipe screwed onto it um, what we'll do is we'll test the, put it into the automatic mode and then we should be able to drop it in the water because this one, the sensor is on the water so the sensor is uh, here so I should get in and it should start which it hasn't, oh it has, there you go, off it goes. Well there's our first section of bilge water that's been expelled but you'll see there's no automatic running between these two so that back one's got a lot of water in it as well so I need to sort that out too. This bilge pump is, I think, an old Jabsco Maxi Puppy 3000. Despite the outer casing being trashed, these things are built to last with a simple motor driving an impeller pump. The motor works perfectly and with a new impeller it'll be as good as new so I'm happy to keep on using this one as my second pump rather than buy another new one at several hundred pounds. It's rated at 600 gallons per hour so it's not as powerful as the super sub but with both running we can get rid of 130 litres every minute. Before we can achieve that though we need to strip the pump down and give it a good service starting by replacing the impeller. See that split there. Right, okay, so then we take that one off, and that's the bronze pump bit, and then we take the back part off. The motor's still good, so we'll uh, we'll crack on. <laughs> So 
So there we go, one pump serviced and put back together again. Let's see if she runs. Having serviced the water puppy uh, and I'm getting ready to plumb it back in, um, I'm a hose pipe fitting short um, in that the outlet from the pump doesn't have the correct fitting on to suit the pipe diameter that I'm using for the bilge pump run. So I removed the old one and decided I'd order a new one. Um, but my my, aren't BSP threads fun? British standard pipe threads are commonly used in plumbing and pipe fittings in the UK. It's a thread system derived from the first standard screw thread brought into common usage in the mid-1800s. Back in the heady days of the Industrial Revolution, the sizing was originally based on the inside diameter of the pipe for which the thread was intended. Today, however, it just serves to confuse people like me. To measure your fitting, you measure the diameter using vernier calipers and then subtract 25% from it. Why would you not? So a one inch diameter fitting like this one is actually a three quarter inch BSP. And of course, pipe diameters for hose tails, you're buying those in millimetres. Sometimes the world is still a frustrating place. So this is the, the strum box. Uh, and as you can see, this just fits on the end of the pipe there. There's a non-return joker valve there. So the water come and gets sucked up and theoretically cannot go back down again. It's got the nice strainer on it and two um, holes to drill it into the... Uh, base so that only the bottom part uh, is in the water and you should therefore get good suction um, but if there's any splits in it it tends to be a bit useless but there you go strum box sighted the pump um, under the sofa here and you'll see the, the main reason for the pump sighting is to do with keeping that um, pipe as uh, straight and as clear as possible so let's have a look at the actual builds then here is the aforementioned strum box in place and some pretty messy looking horrible water in there <laughs> Here's a rather upsetting addendum to the story. Uh, the bilge pump, the whale, has broken. Um, you see this thread here, uh, it just came away. And so the whole thing has snapped off. Uh, got a returns number for uh, from uh, where I bought it from. Uh, they were quite good. Now, but, but unfortunately they have to take it back to whale for Whale to decide whether it's a warranty issue or not, and uh, then they'll send me a replacement if, warrant, if Whale say that's okay. So that's it, that's the bilge pumps. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.